This is a review of the Kiwi Design O2 cover. It's an accessory for the DJI Osmo Pocket and it's to improve the case design of the standard cover that you get with the Osmo Pocket. So here's the Osmo Pocket. I normally store mine in that way, um, which is fine. I know the cover's on it, I know it's not going to fall out anywhere. The only problem is you can get dust and things uh, all over your Osmo Pocket. You could store it that way to avoid the dust. The only problem is then, is if you haven't clipped that over and you left the Osmo Pocket up, there's every chance you're going to drop it out of the case. And uh, the last thing you want to do is have anything hit the gimbal. So the alternative to better protect the Osmo and also to give you some extra storage so this is the Kiwi O2 cover, so if we open that up, we've got the box, small set of instructions, and the cover. And the tool to assist you in installing the cover. Now the cover comes in two colours, this is the darker of the greys and there is a light grey as well. Personally I think the dark grey is much better because it matches the colour of the original case. So as you can see with the original the colours are very similar. So what you first need to do is to remove this existing strap. Put your uh, DJI pocket to one side so it doesn't get damaged. The first thing to do is to remove the strap, this uh, rubber section that's inside here. So if you gently pull and using the tool you can prise it through a little bit there. The next part to do is to fix this new section of case onto your original. So what we have to do is get this fed into there, which is the trickiest part of the whole operation. So what we need to do, it's probably easier to pull it that way to get the bottom in, and then feed the top in with the tool after. The tool comes to help you to prise the new rubber in there. You need to get one long edge. Once you've got one corner in, you need to pull it to get one long edge in there. And once that long edge is in here, this way, you can then push the other side in. So then we'll just feed this in from the top. It will take some force. It's not an easy job to get this to go in. But then again, if it was easy to go in, it would be easy to fall off as well. Which is something that you don't want. So you have this tool, which has got two ends, one wider end and one narrower end to help fit this case. As I said, this isn't the easiest uh, thing to do. On each end of the slot, on the original case, it's slightly wider. So you can start from each end to try and get it to feed in. I've now got 
both ends in. Just got to try and get this middle section in. Right. Okay, and as you can see there, that's finally in there now. You can tell when it's in properly because it's all straight when you look at it from the inside. If there's any sections that look thinner than, along the length, then it's probably not fitted quite right and you'll need to just manipulate it, pull it around to get that in. So this case will now fit over the top and lock on, which makes it much more dust and water resistant. And then you've got a new home for any ex filters that you use can go in there in the case you see there's three pockets that are covered by rubber on each side to stop the filters falling out and then if you want to you can just store your filters in there your ND filters or any polarizing filters that you have so when you refit the Osmo Pocket, it sits in the original case as it would do. There is a cutout here. If you leave the um, phone adapter on the other way, there is a cutout there for it to fit into the case. So that's that section. And then the other nice touch with this case is just to save having any dust in the USB port. There is a little rubber cover that fits in there so now it's fairly well sealed so that's the Kiwi O2 cover gives you some extra storage and a little bit more protection for your Osmo Pocket I hope you found this uh, information video useful if so please subscribe and thank you for taking the time to watch